the drizzle is so light, it's very difficult for radar to even pick it up. But we are seeing that, especially along the coast, as we did all day today. It's all courtesy of this storm way offshore, just keeping that northeast flow coming in here. But as you look off to the west, you start to see new areas developing. And this area that's out over towards Chicago, when that front gets here and moisture comes up out the Gulf of Mexico, we're going to see some heavier rains coming in here late Wednesday through Thursday into early Friday, which means we've got another round of downpours, kind of like what we saw on Saturday. So tonight it's cloudy. There'll be some drizzle. There'll be some fog. There'll be some spot showers. Doesn't amount to too much and doesn't get terribly cold for most areas. However, to the north, remember that area that's got all the snow from over the weekend? It's cold here. We're adding some drizzle to it. There might be some icy spots out there, which is the reason there's a winter weather advisory till 8 a.m. tomorrow. And just be advised about that. If you're driving up into this area, untreated surfaces could get slippery out there. And then for tomorrow, it's a mostly cloudy day. There'll be a few showers, but not much, but a much milder day. 10 degrees to almost 20 degrees warmer than they were today. 50 to 58 degrees, the high temperature. So as this front comes closer to us, that tropical moisture down the Gulf of Mexico starts to lift its way in here. And that's why we have the downpours going on. But notice where it's kind of focusing more to the southeastern part of the state and then eventually some drier weather moves in as we head toward the weekend. So as far as the rainfall is concerned tomorrow, there's not much going on. Here's your map early in the morning. We'll see some hit or miss showers going on throughout the day, but really not much happening. This is eight o'clock tomorrow night. Then we start to add the rain after midnight. This is when we start to get the showers moving in. They're going to be with us fairly heavily on Thursday, especially as you look over the southeastern part of the state and then eventually departing as we head towards Friday. So as you look at the rainfall projections, not much until that ba second batch of rain develops. And then again, it looks like we could see a one to three inch rain out of the whole thing. Rain that we do not need, and that's going to aggravate some of the rivers. And it also means we have to watch the sump pumps as well. So Thursday, an impact weather day with that rain and those downpours out there may linger a little bit into Friday with some early showers and then we'll clear it away. But the weekend is still a little bit uncertain, especially on Sunday right now. So it looks like we'll be dry, but there's a little system coming through that might give us a stray shower or two. We'll keep you posted on that one as we get closer to it because it is a holiday weekend. And then Monday, we're back to plenty of sunshine. But the big rainmaker looks like it will be on Thursday. And temperatures, they're warming up a little bit, but they're still a little bit on the cool side for the next seven days as you look across the board. Ben